morning guys um so today you join me in my second video um so today i'm in a range rover svr as you've probably seen from the intro and the thumbnail um so i mean i've had it for a couple of days um i mean it's been a lot of fun and i just thought i'd give you guys my thoughts and i mean just just how it's been really um so i mean I'm going to be driving while I'm doing this um, because I'm in a bit of a rush but um, I'll just talk through how it's been, what's all my opinions etc. So um, I've had the car for two days, um, luckily I've managed to get a hold of it and you yeah, know it's just been a lot of fun to be honest with you. Um, as we all know this is uh, the top of the range model that you can buy really. Um, so it's a, the 5 litre V8 running about 550 brake. And I mean, it's a blast to drive. So yeah, I mean, I'll talk about the power, the powertrain. So um, as I just mentioned, it is 500 brake horsepower. Um, and I mean, it's the top of the range one you can buy. No better Range Rover you can buy, in my opinion, really, for performance. As we know, Land Rover specialise in off-roading. I mean, Obviously, you get loads of people that obviously love a Land Rover, love a Range Rover, including me. I'm a bit of a fanboy, but I mean, the thing is that the purpose of these cars are for off-roading, so they all have the capability, but yeah, I mean, who's really, half the people that buy them aren't going to take them off-road. So, yeah, back to my point, um, yeah, this car is an absolute monster, I mean... see from the cutaways um, and the thumbnail is quite a flashy color in my opinion it looks really good but the name of the color sorry um, is velocity blue um, so I mean really flashy looks great um, in the Sun and you probably notice that it's got the carbon pack as well um, so that includes the carbon bonnet uh, the fenders the mirrors um, you've got some carbon in the center here the steering wheel so I mean you've got it in a fair few places um, so a, a nice package I don't know if I would go for it myself um, the carbon bonnet is a bit much for me I don't mind it but if I was buying a new um, it's probably going to be a 5 to 10k optional extra so I mean would I go for it I don't really know yeah so I mean yeah no um, a nice color in my opinion I think a, a, a black would be a it's a nice, I know people like the whole blacked out look, but I would probably go for a color because I mean, with Range Rovers, you get all these different types of specifications like the Revier, the Overfinch body kits, they all look great. Not saying they look as good as this, but they're sort of punching in some ways, but with this you get, um, you get the power, right? You can do a bit of this. Um, you can't do that in a normal Range Rover, so I would want everyone to know that I've got an SVR to be honest with you. Um, so I would want it to be a nice colour um, and be a bit in your face because I think this car is a bit brash um, but I like that about it, I think it's, 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 it's good in that respect as you can see we've got these racer buckets all the way through front and the back I think it's a really nice touch, I mean they're really comfortable um, I did do a fair few miles yesterday um, just to obviously get some nice shots of the car um, so spend a bit of time in it I mean, I mean, they've been really comfortable. I've had no discomfort. Um, you can adjust the seat in any position you want, which is really nice because, I mean, a lot of people are going to be probably cruising this. And it does it really nicely. I mean, as much as a car is aggressive and wants to egg you on and make you do this, um, it can still cruise around town with ease, which I think is a nice touch. Um, so I mean it does it does both things very well um, which you would expect from any Range Rover so yeah my girlfriend's just hit the loud exhaust button which is a good thing because you're about to hear the exhaust get very loud so I mean yeah no it opens up the some of the flaps probably about around here on the exhaust um, so somewhere around there um, so I mean it opens up the valves and it should get a bit louder now 
as you can hear, it's, it gets nicely louder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, nice. I mean, it's it's nice to have that button. Um, probably the best button in the car, to be honest with you. It still feels somewhat nimble. It doesn't feel like a big car. It sort of hugs you and makes you feel like you're in something special, and it is very special. So I mean. Uh, the seat position is very good, as I said, you can adjust it to where you want nice and low. Um, you've got your flappy paddles, etc., which change very quickly. I'll touch on that in a moment, a bit more. Um, but it just hugs you and makes you feel uh, comfortable, and and it doesn't feel like a big car. I mean, in the right hand, you could definitely have fun on the Nürburgring or, I mean, on a track. If you've got... Um, if you've got the bottle in and you're a good driver but a lot of fun as well um, but I mean it's four-wheel drive so it will keep you safe but I mean it doesn't mean you don't need to be careful um, I feel you definitely need to respect a car with this sort of power uh, get used to it um, and just just manage the power properly I mean yeah but it's a lot of fun to drive um, but as I was saying so in terms of gearbox um, so we've got an 8-speed automatic, um, I think it's the ZF gearbox that is using the BMW X5, um, I mean it's not a dual clutch transmission but the, race, the, sorry, the gear changes are very fast, um, st still super fast, fast enough um, and I mean you've got sport mode, um, you've got right where was I? Okay, so, yeah, as I was saying, the car, um, yeah, it's very nimble uh, for a big car. The thing is with SUVs, as we know, they're lumpy, they're, they're you're going to get that body roll. Um, it's a two-ton car, right? Um, it's massive. I mean, look how high up you are. But as we know, there's a few, and a very few, um, that are driving, that have driving abilities, as we know, the Porsche Cayenne is number one. Um, I mean, Porsche's heritage will allow them to make something special that's that big and that, um, and in terms of an SUV, that's a superior driving product, which is expected. Um, and BMW make a, a good effort with the X5 in general. This is obviously from um, Land Rover, but it's been. Um, with the special operations from Range Rover, so I mean they've really put something special together. Um, so that would be the equivalent of, of AMG to Mercedes, right? It's in a separate factory, it's not made in the same place as a normal Range Rover. So I mean they've made a serious effort to make something special, so it drives, it's not going to make you feel like you're driving an SUV, you're going to feel like you're in something smaller and more agile, and you do really get that feel. Um, so it's great. I mean, as well right it's absolutely brilliant um, let me get this loud exhaust one brilliant yes yeah, so, I mean it's, it's very impressive to be honest with you I used to own an X5 um, so I did have a lot of fun um, it was a 2012 M Sport 30D really good in terms of performance I mean only a 3 litre diesel but it really moved very well I mean it had a um, it had a not a double clutch it just had an eight speed automatic which was a zf gearbox as well and so i mean the gear changes were seamless and it, it i really didn't feel like i was driving an suv it felt nimble um it turned corner as well um it did not feel like an suv and this is that's the sort of feel you get from this nice um in that respect um i'm just gonna give you a bit some i mean that's with the loud exhaust it's just absolutely brilliant to be honest with you and it's just a lot of fun to drive if you can ever get your hands on one, you can definitely have a fun day with it. Uh, got police officers next to me, so I need to slow down. Hopefully they don't pull me over after what I just did. Um, but I mean, I'm not really driving that fast. Yeah, so a great car overall in terms of power looks. The seats are brilliant, as I touched on. Really comfortable, nice place to be. In terms of options, as you can probably imagine, uh, the options list is quite extensive. Stock, you get obviously all the you get electric seats cruise control uh head up display i mean these sport seats all the standard um heated seats i'm not sure if the cooled seats are as standard i mean someone can throw that in the comments if they know a bit more than me i do apologize i probably should have done a little bit more research but yeah chuck it in the comments be good i mean even if you go for the base spec 
which begins at a whopping hundred thousand pounds. Um, I mean, you get a good car, but you know, with Land Rovers, they don't mess around with the options list. You can spec 20 30 k on without even trying too hard. I mean, they do keep a nice long options list, so you can really spend some cash with them. Because I mean, the average Land Rover customer or Range Rover customer is someone with a fair bit of cash. 100k base price, you can buy one brand new, but the great thing is that depreciation is initially very high so I mean this car is 2018 so what two and a half years old now um, and I mean yeah you can grab the non facelift so this is a facelift at 2018 but you can grab the non facelift for about 50k 50 60k ish 70 I saw one approved from Land Rover so you get the extensive warranties etc um, but I mean you can grab one used for 50k which I think is absolutely brilliant because I mean like I said the base price from Land Rover is 100k so I mean you could buy one that's five six years old and get it for half the price and you're probably getting most of the car yeah so a really fun place to be um, I mean like I said um, in terms of driving ability it's absolutely amazing for a great deal uh, in terms of looks performance and just an overall package so would definitely highly recommend getting this car um, like I said I've only had it for a couple of days on this occasion but I definitely want to spend some more time in it so when I go for a long trip or um, if I'm gonna be um, possibly looking to get something of this caliber it would definitely be right up there I mean yeah no it's a, it's a brilliant car yeah so what I was saying about the, the ride um, so the ride is um, it's a good ride overall but around town what you're going to see is quite harsh um, it's not going to be soft as say a normal Range Rover that's maybe a normal spec because the thing is they run on air suspension but there needs to be a compromise when you have a performance package like this you have something that is somewhat uh, more nimble in the corners and it feels more more driver focused you're going to have a firmer suspension because you need to be more planted to the ground you need less body roll so a firmer suspension will keep the car will still keep the chassis firmer so that's important I mean on track um, for example coilovers are used coilovers is an adjustable suspension um, which keeps the car firm I mean th that that's what you're gaining by having a firmer ride so um, that would be a compromise of having something a bit more nimble and a bit more a bit more aggressive and a bit more driver focused um, that's you lose a bit of comfort but overall I think it's worth it because you get uh, you get an overall a great overall package thank you guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, please like and subscribe if you do or there'll be a lot more to come I mean tell me what you think in the comments um, I do want to whether it's positive or negative I'm, I'm happy to take your feedback and I want to know um, what you guys want to see I know I'm brand new um, but yeah let me know what you want to see your thoughts and um, any particular cars you want to see because I want to want to just interact with you guys and bring you the videos that you want to see but yeah thank you and I'll see you in the next video take care <laughs>